hello everyone this is dr meesha once again with another video in this video we are going to learn how to solve jensen's alpha problem sum under the subject risk management this is the third type of sum which is very important from the exam point of view of all uh, tybma student there were other two types also were solved if you haven't watched that see that or even watch that particular videos so let us see how to solve the sum based on jensen's alpha Okay, now this is the third variation of sum where we have to find the alpha or Jensen's alpha. So now let us see how to solve such kind of sum. Okay, now they are given you that a particular investment has been formed where sixty percent of the fund will be invested in one sector and the remaining forty will be invested in another sector. and each sector has a separate beta they are giving you the market return and then they given you the risk free return and thereafter they have been and thereafter they are giving you the market yield and the risk free return after that they told you a certain jensen's alpha and opening nav of for january was given so there is some opening net annual value given nav thereafter they are giving you months that is the full year and they are giving you closing nav and along with that they are giving you something called as a dividend payout at specific month now in order to solve such kind of sum okay where they are giving you the returns of you know they are not giving you return they are giving you the total navs and dividend and such type the very first step will always be you need to find the total return what is the actual return of the uh, problem okay so now we'll have to make a table because there are a lot of months given here so this is how the table will look you will have months note down all the months opening nav uh, it's given as 17.75 closing nav note down all those closing nav ka values dividend given so that those two specific dividend which were given total return that is what we need to find and then the percentage of the return okay so these are the two you know th these are the five columns that needs to be made now whatever data was available we have posted now see how let, how let us see how we can you know fill up the entire table nav opening was given closing is given for the first year so always remember first year, first month now since is a month first month ka closing will become next month ka opening so closing was 18 so this will become opening 18.60 again second month ka closing will become third month ka opening third opening becomes fourth i mean third closing will become fourth opening fourth closing will become fifth opening and so on so we'll just fill up this thing first okay so uh, we need to just fill up all the values first so this is 18.10 and 18.80 okay so whatever was closing of the previous year will become opening of the next not year month so will become the opening of the next month once you have got the opening and closing all the values total it up so opening nav ka total comes to 214.75 and closing ka it will be approximately 215.50 okay dividend ka total is 1.95 now this is very important total return in order to find total just remember so let's we just note down these column 1 2 number it down 3 4 and this is the fifth remember the total return in order to find the rule will be dividend distributed so that step number 4 or column 4 plus plus closing nav that is step 3 minus the opening nav so in order to find total return the formula is dividend plus the difference between closing and opening nav so we'll if our table is simple we'll keep it as step number 4 plus step number 3 minus step number 2 So let us see how what are the values. So for the first case, it will be when you you know add and when you subtract. The first amount will come approximately zero point eight five. Next will be negative zero point five, zero point four zero. 
नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो देन यू हैव पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट टू नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट वन पॉजिटिव टू जीरो पॉइंट टू पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड अ नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो वेन यू टोटल इट अप इट विल कम अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टू पॉइंट सेवन जीरो ओके सो दैट इज हाउ वी नीड टू गेट द रिटर्न एंड लास्ट द परसेंटेज ऑफ रिटर्न इज वेरी सिंपल ओके सो दिस विल बी आर स्टेप नंबर सिक्स सो दैट विल बी नथिंग बट टोटल रिटर्न डिवाइडेड बाय ओपनिंग एन ए वी इन टू हंड्रेड टोटल रिटर्न अपॉन ओपनिंग एन ए वी इन टू हंड्रेड दिस फॉर्मुला वॉज ऑल्सो यूज इन द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ सम दैट वी हैड डन ओके सो दोज हू हैव इन व्यू दैट सी दैट यूल इवन व्यू दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो दिस द अमाउंट विल कम टू फोर पॉइंट सेवन नाइन परसेंट अ नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन परसेंट टू पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट अ नेगेटिव वन पॉइंट जीरो परसेंट वन पॉइंट वन वन परसेंट नेगेटिव वन पॉइंट वन टू टू पॉइंट थ्री एट थ्री पॉइंट फोर नाइन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स वन पॉइंट वन टू थ्री पॉइंट एट सेवन परसेंट एंड लास्टली नेगेटिव वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो परसेंट द टोटल ऑफ विच विल कम टू फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो परसेंट दैट्स आ एक्चुअल रिटर्न ओके दैट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ आ एक्चुअल रिटर्न सो द टोटल एक्चुअल रिटर्न फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर इन्वेस्टमेंट इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो परसेंट स्टेप नंबर वन कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ रिटर्न नाउ वी स्टार्ट सेकेंड we need to find out if you look carefully in the entire sum they haven't provided us the the beta now beta is given but it's for the two different areas so we need to find one beta for the entire investment so we will first calculate the beta now very beta to calculate beta is very simple they said 60% is going to be used in the urban area and 40% in rural urban and rural ka betas are given so we'll take 60% of 1.9 Plus forty percent of one point four. Okay, sixty percent is of. Uh, one second. I think sixty uh, percent of the funds were used in companies engaged in urban areas. Okay. Uh, No wait. Uh, there, there, there is a slight difference. Okay, it is actually supposed to be one point nine. The beta is supposed to be of the rural area. Okay, there is a slight change that we'll have to make in the question. Actually, the question said that in urban area it was supposed to be one point four, and in rural area it was supposed to be one point. Nine. Okay, so that that's one slight correction to be made. So this will again be. So this is one point four, and this will be one point nine. Okay. So sixty percent of urban plus forty percent of rural. So a new beta that we will suppose to get would be somewhere around you know zero point eight four plus zero point seven six, which comes to one point six zero. So that's the combined beta of the entire investment. Now step number three, we need to calculate the expected return under. C A P M. Okay, so the expected return formula is risk-free return plus beta into market return minus risk-free return. The risk-free return given is now if you see R B I bond, those are always risk-free return. So that's four point two five percent plus beta. Beta we already found just now at one point six into market return is eleven point two zero. Minus risk-free return that is four point two five. Again, same logic. You subtract, you multiply. Whatever answer you get, you add it to four point two five. 
so we'll get the value as 15.37 percent step number four last step and there we are finding jensen's alpha okay formula very simple alpha is equal to actual return less expected return actual return is 15.50 which we already found less expected return that we you know recently found the difference of that is nothing but our value of alpha now since alpha is positive we can conclude that you know the expectation or you know this particular security has outperformed in the market so this is how we need to solve such kind of sum uh, when they are asking you to find alpha and such kind of placement of the sum has been given to us now this was the third variation or third type of sum which could be asked for finding the alpha there are another two more videos which were posted earlier than this so if you all haven't watched that see that you all even cover up those two videos with that we will be ending this video i hope everyone have understood this thank you